Do you ever get any chance to speak to Imran Khan or, you know, and do any meeting via Zoom or Skype because you said you have never been to Pakistan? Um, it's, it's a confidential matter that I'm not willing to discuss. Right. And why do you think you are willing to work with Imran Khan, uh, you know, the premier of the same country where you have been, you know, ditched once? Why would you what do that? What makes you think I'm willing to do that? Yes. What makes you think that? That's what I'm asking to you. Well, I mean, what led you to believe that I was willing to? Because you just said that uh, I, I had I had a word with the government in, a, in, in some other interview and said I'm willing to work for Imran Khan and for this government one more time. No, I've been offered a contract please, as well. Please don't misquote me. What I said is if the government... Okay, let's put it this way. If, I mean, I just said this. If you get a chance, you've been contacted by the government that you said again one more time and in which you said that you had this thing in your mind that you will recover that one billion which you have mentioned and you will get your share and forget the previous money. I've seen your one of the interviews with some other Pakistani uh, journalists as well. So why would you come and you know work again for the same country? If I have nothing against Pakistan, mm. I have something seriously against Nab as it then was and as the and the governments of Pakistan as they, they were. Any government, uh, by the pressure of its own people, eventually ends up reforming itself. I'm more than happy to work with that. Now, in the case of this government, when we had intelligence that a billion dollars was transferred on behalf of the Sharifs, we wanted to investigate that. We alerted the previous government of Pakistan. We are lawyers wrote to them, and they did nothing. The government of Pakistan did nothing, absolutely nothing. When I met Shahzad Akbar in London, in London, I told him about it. He did absolutely nothing. So it somewhat undermined my confidence that I'm going to be dealing with um, a new uh, set of people. Yet the ferocity with which they have now picked up their baton and are running with it, it gives me the impression that the government of Pakistan might be uh, at last serious in, in pursuing this. And if they are, there are certain protocols that we have to adhere to. Namely, they have to obey the court order. The court has ordered them to pay me, and they have not. So I had to move in and seize Pakistani assets. I'm sorry that they had to be like that. Um, and those assets have not come from the people of Pakistan. They've not come from the Pakistani taxpayer. The biggest proof that NAB is a fraud is the claim that this is coming from the taxpayer in Pakistan. If NAB had done its job, the money in NAB would be the money that they, they recovered from thieves. So therefore, they'd be pay, my, paying me my fees from the money that I had recovered from the pockets of thieves, money that had left Pakistan forever. But thanks to my efforts, it was brought back to NAB. So the idea that I'm asking, and this foolish man who masquerades as a minister in the government of Pakistan, the Shahzad Akbar, say using the word skimming, which is a libelous assertion, that he's not even aware that he's libeling me. You know, liars don't have much memory. So um, he should know the contradiction of what he's saying. If NAB is paying me, then, then it's paying me out of money that has come from the pockets of thieves. Now, if the government of Pakistan are willing to adhere to protocols that are necessary and proves um, to be useful by time, uh, time-honored um, procedures, and that's if they're prepared to obey court orders, for start, pay us what they owe us, what the court said uh, they owe us. They owe us another $2 million, and if they pay that today, and if they are prepared to adhere to the protocols that are required, namely the targets that they give us are irremovable, they can't remove them ever again from the contract, and if we get close to the money, they're not going to alert the thieves that we've got close to the money, then yeah, I'm, uh, because don't forget, I'm trying to help and serve the people of Pakistan, right. my real, my right. real masters, and my real employers. Right.